Okay, this is just a really quick video to show you that um, Pebble got a new cage again. That's right, she's on to like her third or fourth cage or something, it's ridiculous. Um, but anyway, I'll show you why exactly she's got this new cage and then I'll give you a quick tour of it. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's called, I think it's like a Fairplast Multi, something like that. So I'll just go and show you why she's in a new cage. Okay, so here's the cage that Pebble was in. Um, obviously I've just swapped over so I haven't cleaned it out yet. Um, and the first reason why she's in a different cage is the fact that she chewed through the wire mesh at the top. Um, and that means that she can escape out. So I was intending getting her a new cage like next month when I get paid. Um, but then I noticed she's like chewing here and she's made a hole there. Um, she's made an even bigger hole there and she would started on that one so basically she's making these holes and eventually you know she was gonna get right through the plastic and if that broke all the way through she probably could squeeze through this hole since um, she squeezes through the bars so um, I run an animal selling page in my local area and someone was selling the Fair plus one, she gave me two bases because this one's got a crack in it um, for £25 so I thought I might as well just go for it. Okay so this is the cage that she's in now and as you can see she's up because I disturbed her. Um, I know that some people are going to suggest oh why didn't you make a bin cage? Um, well basically I, I just I'm not keen on bin cages. Um, I completely understand that they're um, you know they're you can make a good size and all the rest of it but I just find them really ugly and I don't really want a storage box sitting at the bottom of my stairs. The hamster in it. Um, and that's just my opinion and I don't mind if you have a different opinion. For example, um, Chantelle's rabbits, her hamster Harry's in a bin cage and it's a really good one. And she's made loads of additions to it and stuff. Um, it's just, that's just my opinion. She likes them, I don't, but I really like what she's done with hers. So, let's get on with this. Um, it's a fair plus multi. Um, I think that's what it's called, or multi, oh I don't know, I'll put a description in the in the down bar and a link to it or something. Um, and the main reason I got it was because of these narrow bars, um, she can't get out, there's no way. And on the inside it's also completely smooth, so there's nothing for her to dig in her teeth to make a hole. Um, and I just like, I prefer a hamster cage rather than, um, what you call it, a box. But anyway. This is her cage, and I shall open it up and let you see. As you can see, she's um, collecting her food and storing it in her house. Her house is a really big. I suppose it probably doesn't look big on camera, but you'll remember I had it for the guinea pigs. Um, obviously, a full-grown guinea pig didn't fit in it, but um, the babies fit in it till they were about ten weeks old. Um, if anyone's interested, they're about they were sixteen weeks on Friday, um, and uh, Willow and Leo are doing really well. They've got a new big cage in their new home because they've grown, outgrown their, the cage that um, was bought for them. Um, Max lives with my sister and my the guinea pig we gave her, Milo. Um, he's also doing well, they're still getting on and she's also going to be buying a bigger cage. And then we have Pixie and she's still with her mum. So yeah, that's her cage. It's our house, sorry. It's massive. Oh no! <laughs> so yeah. Her house is there and her wheel is just outside there. I actually need to get her a bigger wheel because as you can see she's a big hamster. She's not quite as fat anymore, still a little bit tubby around her middle but she's she's getting there. But she's really big like size wise, like she must have quite big bone structure. Her, she doesn't fit in a toilet roll tube basically. So this isn't a toilet roll tube, this was one of the, um, this used to, cardboard ones, it used to be um, green and pink or green and orange, I can't remember. But she strips it and puts it in her bed. So she's got one of them. Um, she's got the bunny kebab. She has a wood chew. I assume is in her house and a dog biscuit that I think is in her face right now since it was so big. Um, and then she's got this log tunnel that oh sorry that she can go under it or over it. Um, I actually bought that for the guinea pigs last Christmas if you remember. Um, and it came and it was too small. <laughs> she's got a food bowl there. Um, I alternate between food bowl and scatter feeding, so I do like a month of food bowl, a month of scatter feeding, because sometimes she gets a bit lazy with the scatter feeding and she pees on her food and oh, 
all this nonsense. And then in the corner there she's got her toilet, it was elsewhere but she was peeing in the sand. Um, she's got her sand pit, somebody asked me in the last video, um, haven't you dried out the sand? Well the sand isn't wet anyway so I'm not really sure but anyway, that's her sand pit there, her little um, natural desert environment. So yeah, and a water bottle. That's basically the cage that she's in because, um, as I said, she was escaping out the other one and making holes in it. Um, so hopefully this is the last cage I ever have to buy for a hamster and um, I hope you like her in the cage.